this week. That was really effusive. In the news this week, Lewis and Clark holds their winterum session for students, and I get a sweet hat out of it. Rakaya Adams speaks at the first Portland Business Journal Power Breakfast of the year. An iPhone falls out of a plane and lives to tell about it. And a whole bunch of events and a few other things. Let's get into it. Big story this week is the weather. Portland always freaks out about having bad winter weather, bad summer weather, bad wet weather. Portland uh, has weather issues. Not not the weather per se, just the people have issues. Now, back to the news. This week, you see I'm wearing a little bit of a different hat. I got a took or a beanie or whatever you want to call it uh, because... I had the opportunity to go up to Lewis and Clark for their Winterum program. If uh, you haven't heard of Winterum, it's basically a similar format to Startup Weekend. Startup Weekend, obviously, is where you build a startup in a weekend, a 54-hour sprint. Winterum is that same kind of thing, but for Lewis and Clark college students to take a week to go through that. So they go through everything from team formation to ideation, to design thinking, to building a pitch. And then at the end, they get to pitch to judges and the judges select a winner and the students get a great experience and they get firsthand entrepreneurial experience. They get to feel what it's like to start a startup. I got to go early in the week, which means I got my speaker gift early in the week, which is a really nice beanie from our friends at Rustec. Full disclosure, they're built and Pi Accelerator alum, but uh, you know, all in all, just a really good experience, really great ideas. It's a far cry from the days of we should build a 24-hour coffee shop or we should build a cheaper bookstore. These folks had some really interesting and thoughtful ideas, specifically around community and connection, which is completely unsurprising, which is completely unsurprising given the environment in which these folks have grown up amidst the pandemic. And who knows, I might write something up on it for next week. If, if you'd like to hear more of this or stay in the loop on this kind of thing, just subscribe. Then I'll just send this to you, or YouTube will send it to you, or your favorite podcast thingamajig will send it to you. So subscribe, and then I can keep you in the loop. Portland Business Journal had their first power breakfast of the year, and boy, did they pick someone with power to be the guest. Rakaya Adams was the guest. Super informative, uh, super inspiring. Like, Rakaya, she's just great. We are so lucky to have her on, on Portland's side and working for Portland and writing love letters to Portland. I'll link up her love letter to Portland from TEDx. But she's continuing that love letter. And continuing that love of Portland and her belief in what we as a community have the potential to accomplish. It was just a great, I was at a great table, lots of amazing folks, got to see a lot of folks who were in attendance, it was a sold out crowd. Rakaya just knocked it out of the park like she always does. If you haven't had the chance to see her speak, I highly encourage you to, to take the opportunity to do so. Genuinely an amazing human. And Portland is lucky to have her. Congrats to the Portland Business Journal. Way to kick off the year. Started the week with the college students. Ended the week with Rakaya Adams. I was lucky this week and very privileged this week to get the chance to hang out with a bunch of awesome folks. I hope you did too. I hope your new year is starting off in a similar vein where you're getting to hang out with a bunch of awesome folks and getting inspired to do amazing things this year. Uh, what else is going on? Oh, I've got some really interesting stuff potentially launching next week and it involves ai i don't know if you heard about this one I, you made national news and made international news there's an alaska airlines flight in portland that took off and then part of the plane took off and so they had to land the plane because there was this big hole in the side they're they're referring to it as a door plug luckily no one was hurt and they landed safely, and, and everybody got out without um, significant injury. So that was all good. Obviously frightening for all the passengers, and I wish them the best. 
sorry that they had to go through that. But one of those, you know, random news items that had a kind of like tech angle to it, an iPhone flew out of the plane. The, the plane's up in the air. Part of the fuselage comes off, like starts sucking stuff out. An iPhone made the leap out of the plane and wound up surviving the fall. And somebody found it out in the Portland suburbs and tweeted about it. And it goes what the kids like to call viral. Winds up getting 19 million views and 85,000 likes. But yeah, just one of those things where it's like it's an awful incident. This just adds kind of a moment of levity to it. So I wanted to share it. And and it's an iPhone and tech. I promised you this year, I want to keep you up to date on all the events that are happening in Portland so that you can get involved with the community, be that virtually or in person. And next week is a very big week in terms of events. So I'm just going to kind of rattle off the list of events happening next week. Tuesday, Pitch Please, the PDX WIT Virtual Happy Hour, TAO, AI and Data Communities Open Mic Night, and PDX CPP. On Wednesday, Bootstrap Founders Connect. There's a virtual lunch and learn for Bootstrap Founders. Demolicious, it's back. And also on Wednesday, the Climate Curious Crew. You know, if you're interested in climate tech or climate solutions, that Climate Curious is your group. Climate Curious will be helping to judge the Portland State Clean Tech Challenge. On Thursday, Portland podcasters are getting together. There's hacking a SaaS. Thursday is also social beer gathering of the folks from the Portland Startup Slack. You're not on Portland Startup Slack or you don't know about it. I will link up that video here so that you can join the Slack instance and meet some of the folks before you meet them for social beer or maybe just show up to social beer. And you can decide whether you want to be on the Slack or not. 6,000 some odd folks who've joined that Slack, so it might be beneficial for you to join it as well. Probably not 6,000 people at Social Beer, but I don't know. Don't count them out. Maybe 6,000 people there. You'll just have to show up and find out. And then Saturday is the inaugural Silicon Forest Tech Summit. This could be a great opportunity to get together with more of the hard tech, traditional silicon forest types so you may say to yourself you're like hey self how does rick manage to keep track of all of these events what the heck was he just reading off of to tell me about all these events well i'm glad you asked the answer is caligator caligator is the aggregated tech calendar for portland doesn't matter if people are posting stuff to meetup or eventbrite or splash or their own personal sites Caligator is the aggregated list of all those things happening in the tech community. And if you're interested in learning more about Caligator, I put together a little how-to to help you feel more at home with Caligator. But the fact of the matter is, people are starting to use it quite actively again. And it's returning to its you know former prominence as the premier resource for figuring out what's going on in the Portland tech and startup community on any given day, any given week. So I encourage you to check out Caligator and please check out that video if you need some help posting things or you're curious about Caligator, that can be a great primer on helping you get up to speed. I hope your power stays on. I hope you stay warm. Uh, I hope the weather doesn't cause too much of an issue if, if there even is weather. I can't tell yet. I hope you have a good weekend. I uh, hope this was informative. As always, Happy New Year. Again, I'll keep saying Happy New Year for the next three or four months. Hang in there. And until we get the chance to chat again, please keep up the good work.